What is going on guys? Healy here and today Ranked Seasons has ended for April uh, The first season is now over We have received our rewards for the first season so If you guys have played some Ranked Seasons Check today Hop on You should have some rewards We finished the World Series Finished with a 907 rating As soon as I hit World Series I stopped playing we got a World Series pack. Our new placement, 650. We get 10,000 XP, 3,000 stubs, 800 tickets. So before we get into any of the packs and like new content that's come out today, they did put out an update. San Diego Studios put out an update, 1.08. They adjusted the plate coverage indicator, the PCI, so that it's no longer gonna be moving around the zone randomly especially on good timing. They increased pitch speeds within Diamond Dynasty, both head-to-head -head and versus CPU games. Playing online was terrible. You could not use fastballs. They would just get destroyed by anyone. And then you, wouldn't, you wouldn't strike out anyone. Nobody would strike out. So it's good that the pitch speeds have been increased. You could actually use the fastball now. They fixed a rare occurrence where the outfielder would not play a catch or run over the ball on firmly hit ground balls. So those balls that Vlad missed in right field should no longer happen anymore. Uh, adjustments were made to allow more user control for infielders on soft line drives just over their head. So a few times if you would get a ball hit over your head in the middle infield, uh, they wouldn't move. They would get stuck. It appears that they can move now. And they fixed a rare issue where the catcher would come out of his cover position covering home and not allow branching throws to the plate when a runner is attempting to score and then the miscellaneous not much else before we get into this video shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring it SeatGeek is an app that aggregates ticket prices from all over the web to make buying simple you get a 1 to 100 rating on every ticket so you know if you're getting a good price or a bad price and they color code it from green to red as well also when you're purchasing your ticket you get a view directly from the seat so you know if you have a good view as well if you decide to use seat geek make sure you use the link in the description to download the app and use promo code healy at checkout for 20 dollars off your purchase like i said we finished with a 907 rating added 261 pci man was just atrocious uh, luckily we came out on top we finished 28 and 6 really good record you guys have seen my videos and all those L's could have been uh, debatable on base percentage was 300 which is good uh, 540 slugging 844 which is based off this page pretty good our ERA was 2.03 when a lot of low scoring games due to the pitching whip at 0 0.78 27 doubles 66 home runs in 34 games so almost two home runs per game which isn't bad we scored 143 runs in those 30 34 games which is about four per game which isn't bad struck out 33 times we walked 48 a key component is to taking walks look at this struck out 33 times which is less than one per game we walked about one one and a half times per game a lot of these other guys they're striking out a lot more than walking so if you are patient and you make sure to hit the pitch that you're looking for should not be a bad problem so for the new ranked seasons you get darren Erstead, a new legend uh, you get him, you get an 85 to 89 live series diamond, which is good. That diamond's going to be amazing. You get the World Series nameplate. You have five souvenir packs, which isn't terrible. You could definitely pull some good items out of those souvenir packs and then sell them, like some uh, diamond jerseys, stuff like that. And you get an 80 to 84 gold live series legend. Get 800 tickets, 4,000 stubs, 10,000 XP. If you make championship series, you get an 85 to 89 diamond as well. Uh, you get a silver, three souvenir packs, and you get a gold. So if you make championship series, if you're not too keen on the 90 Darren Urset, we're going to go over stats in just a second. 
I would recommend uh, just chilling in championship series, not worrying too much about World Series. He is a 90 overall, a lefty, lefty. Uh, you can play first base or all the outfield positions for you. Another huge contact guy, 105 versus righties, 93 versus lefties. Has some decent power at 56 and 63, but that's not going to be enough to like push a lot of balls out of the ballpark. This guy is going to be a top of the order guy or a bottom of the order guy. Would not really recommend him playing in the middle for you. Uh, 91 vision, his fielding stats, 91, very good fielder. 79 arm, 78 arm accuracy. So he's not terrible. He's going to be good for that left field position, right field position, not so much. Center field is doable. And he has 74 speed, which is pretty good in this year's game. Also, if you guys have not seen in Battle Royale, there are two new flawless reward cards. 93 rookie of the year MVP Ichiro Suzuki. 93 overall right fielder. This card looks sick. I, I'm definitely going to buy him at some point. Test him out. 115 contact versus righties. 93 versus lefties. The power, 38 versus righties. 30 versus lefties. 113 vision. Not a lot of power, but you're going to bat him at the top of your order. Definitely going to be a beast up there. His fielding stats, 95, 98 arm strength. 91 arm accuracy, 93 reaction, and his speed, 93 speed. This card is going to be deadly in the base pass. He's going to be a defensive beast. And if you can hit well with these types of players, uh, he'll be good at the top of the order for you. The other flawless reward is 91 Greg Holland. Not too many people are too keen on him. 104 hits per nine, 115 Ks per nine. 113 clutch, 86 velocity as a four seam slider splitter. That's it. So the pitch selection's not too decent. He does have a 97 mile per hour fastball and then a seven mile per hour splitter. So if you mix those up, should be pretty good. 87 mile per hour slider. But this isn't too terrible of a card. If you're playing BR though, you do not want to get this card as a flawless reward. So we are now going to open up the packs. The World Series packs to see who we get. We're going to open up a 10-pack standard bundle as well. Will Harris is our silver. We're going to open up the World Series pack first, show you what you get for making World Series in April. 90 overall, Robinson Cano. This card is going to be pretty decent. I'll we'll go over his stats in just a second. We get Daniel Murphy, which is pretty cool. Um... Two souvenir packs and a World Series nameplate. Murphy, I hope he goes for a decent bet. The Cano card, not too bad. 103 contact versus righties. 68 power versus righties as well. So not the power I'm looking for. But his lefty stats are a lot better than what they had in last year's game. 78 contact, 79 power. The 79 power is going to be pretty good. I like 70 power and above on all my cards. So... That is pretty good. The 68 power, I feel like it's a little low, but he has 86 fielding, 79 arm strength, 92 arm accuracy, 77 reaction, and 51 speed. So he's going to be a pretty good card. I'm going to use him at second base. He is one of the few good lefties that you can use in the middle infield, especially at second base. There are a couple lefty shortstops, but uh, this Cano might be the best one, especially with Corey Seager going down due to injury yeah let me know what you guys got in your rewards where you finished what you got in your packs uh your whatever pack you got if you finish in cs uh hopefully your rewards are pretty good uh, unfortunately daniel murphy isn't the the card i wanted probably would have wanted gary sanchez or Cody Bellinger. I'm pretty sure I could have pulled both of those. Both those cards are going for a pretty penny. George Springer as well. Uh, but yeah, next season, we are going to get a diamond reward, which is good. I don't know why they had only a gold reward for making World Series this first season. They should have definitely had a diamond for April, but it's whatever it's whatever we'll we'll get past it i'm unsure when the next season ends 
it might be end of may i'm not sure how they're going to be doing it if it's just month by month or whatever but yeah be on the lookout for the next ranked seasons ending like i said i'm unsure of exactly when it's gonna end marlin's home jersey not too decent and then the final pack you get no one okay if you guys enjoyed that video make sure you leave a like subscribe down below this is Celia, and i'm out peace